GUI operating system. An introduction. Children, tell me, who takes care of all the major work at your school? Yes, you guessed right. Your school principal looks after everything in a systematic manner that helps to run the school smoothly. Assume that there is no principal in your school. Then it will definitely be difficult to manage the system of the school. Likewise, a computer has a set of programs which manages all the essential work of a computer and makes it run properly. This special set of a program is known as an operating system. Operating system Operating system is a type of software that makes your computer ready to use. A computer system cannot work in the absence of an operating system. It is an operating system that directly interacts and controls all the connected computer hardware devices. It also keeps track of all the tasks given by the user. Some of the popular operating system are Microsoft Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS and Edubuntu. Windows 7 Windows 7 is one of the most popular operating systems by Microsoft. It is a GUI-based operating system. It means you can select any task with the help of pointing device like mouse. You can also perform multiple tasks at the same time. Features of Windows 7 It is easy to use and operate. It has high quality of graphics attractive colors and themes. Newly designed start button. New and improved search tool. Windows 7 taskbar has introduced show desktop button and quick launcher feature. It is multitasking that means it allows the users to work on multiple programs at the same time. Starting Windows 7 Operating System When a computer is turned on, it takes a little while to display the welcome screen of Windows Operating System. This time is consumed by a process known as booting. Booting is the process of loading the Windows operating system into the computer's memory. After booting, the welcome screen appears followed by the main screen. Desktop and its components The first screen which appears on the monitor with some tiny labeled pictures is known as desktop. Windows Desktop has various components which are described here. Desktop Background Wallpaper Desktop wallpaper is the image that fills the background of your computer screen when all programs are closed. Icons the tiny labeled symbols or pictures present on the desktop are known as icons. Each icon represents some kind of program, file or folder. To open any program or document, simply double click on its icon. Taskbar Taskbar is a long horizontal bar which is by default present at the bottom of the desktop. It is divided into the following sections. Start button, quick launch bar, notification area and show desktop button.
Start button. The start button is present on the left corner of the taskbar. It is marked with the Windows logo. Clicking on the start button opens a menu which is known as the start menu. Quick launch bar. Right after the start button, you can find the icons of some programs along with the icons of the open programs. Notice the icon of currently active program is highlighted. This middle part of the taskbar is known as the quick launch bar. Here, you can also add frequently used programs which you can open with a single click. Notification area and show desktop button. The right side of the taskbar contains the notification area and show desktop button. Notification area includes a group of icons that indicates the status and various notifications about the running programs. It also includes a system clock, calendar, volume setting and internet connectivity icon. Show desktop icon is present on the rightmost corner of the taskbar. It is used to minimize all the open windows and show desktop screen on a single click. Show desktop button is also known as peak button. Sorting desktop icons Sorting desktop icons means arranging the icons present on the desktop by name, type and size. It helps the users to easily locate any item on the desktop. To arrange the desktop icons, do as follows. Step 1. Right click anywhere on the blank area of the desktop. A shortcut menu opens. Step 2. Place the pointer onto the sort by option in the list. Step 3. Select the desired option in the sub menu. Notice the icons on the desktop will be arranged as per the selected option. Hiding desktop icons. To hide the icons from the desktop, do as follows. Step 1. Right click anywhere on the empty area of the desktop. A shortcut menu appears. Step 2. Place the pointer onto the view option in the list. Step 3. Select the show desktop icons to uncheck it in the sub menu. Notice all the icons on the desktop turn invisible. Changing desktop background. Windows allows the users to change the desktop background of a computer which is also known as wallpaper. In Windows, wallpaper is an image or picture that appears on the desktop background. The steps to change the wallpaper are as follows. Step 1. Right click anywhere on the blank area of the desktop. Select the personalize option in the shortcut menu. The personalization window appears. Step 2. Select the desktop background option. A new window with multiple images appears. Step 3. Select any background from the displayed list. A preview of the selected background appears on the screen as shown here. Step 4. After selecting the background, click on the Save Changes button and close the dialog box. Screen Saver A screen saver is a picture which appears on the screen whenever a computer remains inactive or not in use for a while. Follow the given steps to set up a screen saver. Step 1. Right click on the blank area of the desktop. Step 2. Select the personalize option in the shortcut menu. Step 3. In the personalization window, select screen saver option at the bottom panel. Step 4. 
It will open the screen saver settings dialog box. Step 5. Click on the screen saver drop down button. Step 6. Select any screen saver of your choice in the drop down list. Notice the preview of the selected screen saver reflects in the preview box. Step 7. In the weight spin box, change the value to set the wait time. Note, by default, if the screen remains idle for one minute, it will display the selected screen saver. Mouse pointer Mouse pointer is used to point an item on the screen, thus making our work easier while working in a GUI graphical user interface environment. We can change the size and color of the pointer. Follow the given steps to change the size and color of the mouse pointer. Step 1. Go to the Start menu. Click on the Control Panel or you can also double click on the Control Panel icon on the desktop. Step 2. Select Mouse option. The Mouse Properties dialog box opens. Step 3. Click on Pointers tab. Under the Customize section, select the pointer as per your choice. Shutting down a computer. Shutting down is a process of closing all the running programs and exiting the operating system safely. In other words, Shutting down refers to turning off a computer system. Follow the given steps to shut down a computer system. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. In the right pane of Start menu, click on Shut down option. Step 3. After a few seconds, the computer system shuts down. Power Saving Mode we shut down a computer when we have finished working on it. But if we want to take a break for some time, then we can put the computer in sleep mode or hibernate mode. Both sleep and hibernate are power saving modes. Let us learn about these modes. Sleep mode Sleep mode is a power saving state. It is also known as standby or suspend mode. We can put the computer in the sleep mode when we want to take a break for some time. Most laptops automatically go into the sleep mode when not used for some time. In this mode, all actions on the computer are stopped and the data and open files are saved in RAM. The computer goes into a low power state. A computer usually wakes up from sleep mode when we touch a key, click the mouse or press the power button. Hibernate mode This power saving mode is usually meant for laptops. In this mode, the data and open files are saved on the hard disk and the computer goes into a low power state. Hibernate mode uses less power than sleep mode. However, a computer takes longer to resume from hibernate than sleep mode. Normal and safe mode The time when Windows operating system works properly on our computer system, it is said that we are working in the normal mode of Windows. However, any software can develop problems. In Windows OS, this could be due to deletion of some important system files, virus attacks and so on. When an error occurs, Windows cannot run in the normal mode. In such a situation, we try to use the safe mode of Windows. The safe mode is a diagnostic mode in which we try to find and correct the errors due to which Windows operating system is not working properly. Some key features of safe mode are It is a diagnostic mode 
used to spot and correct errors. In this mode, Windows OS is used with minimum software. When in safe mode, the existing desktop background is replaced by a solid black color with the words safe mode at all four corners. The display in safe mode appears with limited colors and lower resolution.